Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a lovely haul that I'm going to show you guys. Of course we have some coloring goodies but we have some other things as well that uh, is going to be included here. So let's go ahead and get started now. First of all, oops, and of course leave it to me to drop everything on the floor. Just dandy. So anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> All right, um, so first of all, we're going to do something a little bit lighthearted. Now, my husband came home the other day, okay, and he says, Hey, dear, I got you a coloring book. And I said, What? Really? Where? And, and I was all excited. But what he brought me was this. <laughs> um, he had to go do a job the other day, and uh, so... They had some uh, stuff laying out on the table. It was from the U.S. Forest Service. And it's something that kind of reminds me of something I got when I was a little kid. <laughs> you know, when they had, like, fire safety and all that. So, anyway, um, it's just one of these these little books, you know, from the U.S. Forest, uh, US Forest uh, place or whatever. So, it's just two pieces of paper kind of stapled together. And it's, it's um, you know, about Smokey and his friends and all that. And so, there it is. So, yeah, he got me a coloring book. Um, <laughs> so, um, but actually, like, um, like I said, I mean, this reminds me of something I got when I was a little kid, but the ones that I remember getting were quite a bit easier than this. Like, if you look at this, it's, it's actually quite detailed for, um, you know, for little kids. So, uh, very interesting, very funny. Um, we were kind of laughing, you know, the other day when, when he brought that in. So I kind of set it down next to me and, and I was laughing. He says, oh, gee, you don't like, you don't like my coloring book. And I was I was laughing. It was funny. All right, so on to the official coloring books, I guess, if you will, <laughs> or actually the coloring supplies, I should say. So so the next thing I want to show you is I got this. Um, if I can get it the right way here, I got this Exacto pencil sharpener. Now I don't know if this is the actual right one, um, or I shouldn't say the right one, but the one that. Um, what was it? Jessica, I think, featured on her channel and she loved it and everybody was getting it because, you know, she was saying what a nice sharpener it was. I don't know if, it, if this is the exact same one, but if it's not, I imagine it's probably pretty similar. Um, it says it's the KS model uh, vacuum mounted one, which I wanted to get something vacuum mounted because I didn't want to have something that I'd have to mount to my wall. So this should actually be able to just sit on my table very nicely. So let me go ahead and unpackage it and I will show Show it to you guys so it comes with this lovely cardboard and apparently it's it's actually pretty nice um, it's gotten quite a lot of great reviews on Amazon so it comes in this little bag and I'll take it off okay so I guess what it does is it it sits on your table and supposedly it 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 sits there like so I got to figure out how it works as far as the vacuum mounting goes and 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 whatnot but I think it probably sits there and then you whoops I think it probably sits there and then you 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 okay what you do is you sit it down and then there's like this little arm right there can you see that you know this little arm that moves and apparently it it um it mounts it to the edge of your table. So um, it's adjustable, like it can adjust to different size pencils. And then of course your shavings, and I gotta figure out how you undo it to clean out the shavings. I think you, I think there's something that you twist to do that with. So I will figure that out. Um, but anyway, so here is this Exacto KS vacuum mounted pencil sharpener that um, I think I'm really going to enjoy. Um, it's going to be a nice treat rather than having those little handheld ones, which I'm really liking my Prismacolor Premier Sharpener, but, you know, that I had just gotten the other day. But, you know, the, for, uh, you know, for something a little nicer, I think I'm really going to enjoy this. So I am glad I got this one. I will be using it in um, my coloring videos with you guys, and I will let you know how I like that. Uh, probably maybe even do a little product review on it. So that is the uh, vacuum mounted Exacto KS um, sharpener. So next, 
I got this beautiful, beautiful coloring book. Um, it came from Japan, and it is the Rhapsody in the Forest coloring book. Now, on the way, I do have the Minuet de Bonheur coloring book that, that a lot of people have been enjoying. It's kind of like a, I guess it's a companion to this one, but um, a lot of people that have this one have the other one as well. So this one was the one that came in, and I just got it today. Um, the jacket is removable and you can go ahead and color that cover if you want to but I shall I will show you a few of the pages in it now it is Japanese so it's not in English there's a English title on the front of the the page but it's all you know otherwise it's all Japanese characters but the paper in this I mean it's beautiful paper and it's got a different feel to it it's got a very very different feel um this paper does it it's kind of like um I really don't know what rice paper feels like, but to me, this is what rice paper or a, or a brand of rice paper would feel like. So um, it's very, it feels very luxurious, you know, very unique, very, very different. Uh, the pictures are double-sided, so that's uh, the only bad part that I can see, but it's it's beautiful, as you can tell. The, pic the pictures are really beautiful. Uh, I'm really, really going to enjoy this one. I would probably recommend just using pencils in this because you don't want to bleed onto your... Um, your next page um, and also because this book is so beautiful um, you don't want to ruin it you know and also it was quite expensive you know coming from overseas you're paying almost as much for shipping as you are the book this is the Rhapsody in the Forest coloring book and I'm so thrilled I got this one because I've had this one on my wish, wish list for a very very long time so um, now I am impatiently waiting for the Minuet de Bonheur uh, however the heck you say that book's name um, I'm, I'm impatiently waiting for that one to come in all right next we have a couple of Bennett Klein books um, we have the color my sketchbook and this one is steam so I think this is one of his newer ones and of course you know his stuff is is grayscale but it's on this horrible uh, paper that a lot of the grayscale books are on it is single-sided anyway but you know typical Bennett Klein um, I really like his books and um, I would probably order a couple of them in digital format just because the paper in here is is just not good you know i love the designs but hate the paper and then uh, the next minute client is we have unearthed and i'll show you a couple of pictures in that one so again grayscale again you know single-sided again crappy paper <laughs> but um his pictures are, are obviously very very beautiful so those are the Bennett Klein ones. Now I do have another Bennett Klein on the way as well as the uh, Mandela book from May Klein. Um, those did not arrive today, so unfortunately I can't show those to you until they get here. They're supposed to be here tomorrow, but I wanted to go ahead and do this haul to show you guys what I ended up, um, you know, to show you guys what I ended up getting. Now these two books sort of kind of go together a little bit because we have the um, Art Over Madness one um, with the, it, it says with the flowers, faces, and fantasy. Okay, so we have this one. And I believe um, Anne from A Colorful Life was coloring in this one. And again, it's on kind of crappy paper, but we have grayscale, grayscale stuff. It's single-sided, but it looks like there's some blurbs about um, the pictures and stuff. It's, it's really nice. It's a nice book. Um, you know, very nice designs. And now a lot of these books, like I just got them in. And so you're getting my first impressions as I'm kind of flipping through it with you guys a little bit. So um, I have not really looked through any of these books, you know, just only what I've seen on YouTube and just what I've kind of just casually looked at, you know, before showing you guys this video, but I've hardly seen anything in, um, in these books. So this is the advanced version. So apparently, um, it is either uh, a little more difficult to do or actually it looks like there's not as much grayscale um, in it, not like the other one was. So it's kind of like the Nikki Burnett books where you can get the regular one that has more of the grayscale type stuff in it um, or the more of the grayscaled areas. Um, and then the advanced one doesn't have as much of the grayscale, so you have to kind of do more of the shading yourself and, and all that. But look at that. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Look at that. 
So I get the regular version as well as the advanced version. So it's going to be interesting to see um, what it's going to look like uh, between the, the two. So then next we have this Edgar Allan Poe book, and this one is by um, an adult coloring book by, um, by Odessa Begay. Um, yeah. Odessa Begay. And I've heard a lot about this book. Like, um, I've got the Jade Summer Edgar Allan Poe book, but um, I've heard a little bit about this one as well. So I wanted to go ahead and get this one. Um, the paper in here feels really nice and thick. It is double sided. And of course, it covers a variety of his stories. You get a little bit of a blurb there. And a lot of the pictures are pretty detailed. So, um, whoops, can you guys see that? It's a bit of a big book. So, it's, uh, I'm trying to show you both sides of the page here. So this is the Edgar Allan Poe book by um, Odessa Begay, and a lot of people seem to really like this book. Um, so I'm going to enjoy coloring in this book because I really like um, Edgar Allan Poe's stuff. Now you're probably going to be seeing a familiar theme here um, as we go along with the rest of the of the coloring books because the last two that I'm going to show you are some really creepy ones. So this one here is Alice's Nightmare in Wonderland coloring book and this is by Kev Crosley. So some of you may have seen this book and so this is Alice in Wonderland but just it's it's like very creepy very very creepy and we have some grayscale in it it looks like. Um, I've seen a little bit of this on YouTube looks like the line art and stuff is pretty thick um, and then you get like a little blurb talking about the picture about the story so this is this is Alice in Wonderland but a creep creeped out version of it <laughs> and uh, I think um, Ann Hatfield do you have do you have this book um, Anne Hatfield, I'd be very, very surprised if you didn't, uh, but I thought I saw this one on your channel. I don't remember exactly for sure, but I could have sworn that I seen this one on your channel because I know this kind of stuff is right up your alley. And then, thank you to Anne Hatfield, we have the Beauty of Horror coloring book. And I was on the fence about getting this one because... I got to be kind of in a mood to sort of watch a horror movie, although I'm a huge Stephen King fan. But um, this one, is, this one is quite scary. Um, very, very creepy, kind of gross. Very much, um, very much horrific, horrific style. Now, I will warn you that it's pretty graphic. So if you're grossed out by like blood and guts and stuff you may not want to look at <laughs> look at this um, I'll show just a few of the pictures in it but um, I definitely remember this on um, Ann Hatfield's channel because she loves stuff like this and so I went ahead and got this one because of her so thank you Ann Hatfield all right so that is all of the coloring books that's all of the coloring goodies but I do have some other things like I said that I'm going to show you guys now um, those of you that have been watching my Color and Gab videos know that um, I will be going to um, uh, guide dog training because my golden retriever Caleb, he is going to be retiring at the end of September. So, which means, I mean, he's going to be staying here. Don't worry. He's not going anywhere. He just, he'll, he'll just be a, a family pet rather than a working dog after that. Um, you know, the poor guy, he's got some arthritis in his back legs and his vet who has since retired noticed on uh, Thursday night when we were at our Lions Club do um, that uh, he was kind of walking a little broad based. So he asked if he was having trouble with his front legs and then he's developing uh, cataracts. And so, yeah, um, it's, it's time to retire the poor guy and just, uh, you know, let him, let him enjoy life and all that. Um, so anyway, that means I have to go to training to get a new dog. So I will be doing that, um, starting at the end of September. And so thinking about that occasion and in honor of that occasion, I got some journals. I have not bought a journal in a very long time because I have 
I don't, I don't, you know what though? I don't think I have as many journals as I do coloring books, but I still have a lot of journals, let me tell you, because I love, 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 love journals, love, you know, collecting the blank journals, and I do use them. It just, I just have so many of them that it's going to take me a while to get through them. But as I said, you know, thinking about the occasion, I decided to go ahead and get a few journals. So, this one is, is uh, I mean, super cute. You guys know how I love golden retrievers. So we have some golden retriever puppies on the on the front cover here. And this book is by, uh, let's see, we, um, it says, uh, we love our fans, like us on Facebook uh, for games. Okay, so this is, um, find us online at today's, uh, today's pet publishing.com. So apparently they put out, um, I've not heard of this company before, but apparently they put out these kinds of journals. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to think about this one as I looked at it, but it wasn't all that expensive. I mean, it's very cute. You can see the little paw prints on there, but um, for fountain pen friendly paper, this is definitely not fountain pen friendly paper. And I don't know how I feel about all the quotes kind of interspersed in there. Um, it's different. So, um, I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I, I love the cover. It's cute, but I'm just not a fan of the paper or the quotes that are kind of interspersed in it. Um, if, you know, using a fountain pen in this, I'd probably have to use a, um, extra fine point because otherwise it will bleed through so bad. So that's, that's that journal. I mean, it is very cute. Don't get me wrong, but, um, I like a journal that has some really, really good quality paper in it. And the fact also that it is soft cover, um, because it is soft cover means it's, it's a little, it's, you know, it's a little cheaper quality, quality. So it's not as good as like a paper blanks journal or anything like that. So the next one is also another golden retriever one. Look at how cute he is. Oh, look at how cute he is. So this one is a little bit smaller. This one I think is more like a, would this one be a five by seven, I think? So anyway, this one, again, not the greatest of paper. It is it is soft cover. So again, um, it's not going to be as nice as a, as a hard cover one. So again, the paper is pretty thin. Um, it's your, it, it looks like your typical school notebook kind of paper. So um, it'll do in a pinch, but it's not the greatest of journals. So, you know, when I saw these things, like I just, I really wasn't sure what I was going to think about these, but I thought, well, I'll give it a try. They weren't really all that expensive. Um, probably a little bit more expensive than I probably should have paid for them considering what they were. But you got to admit, they do have cute covers. I mean, look at, you know, look at how cute that is. Look at how cute that is. And look at how cute they are. I mean, you know what? Total cuteness. So in a way, you know what? It makes it worth it. <laughs> All right, so the next journal I have, um, this one is a Peter Popper Press journal, and this one is pandas. So it's not a dog-related one, but as I was looking for my dog-related ones, I saw this one. I'm like, all right, I got to have it. I got to have it because I love pandas. They're adorable. So um, this one has just got little, little panda bears on the front of it, and uh, here is the back of it. It's got the elastic band, and we have our very, very nice end papers in it. Now, this one here has really, really good paper. The Peter Popper Press Journals and the Paper Blanks one. I think the Paper Blanks one has slightly nicer paper in it, but the Peter Popper Press ones, um, they're not too shabby either. So I really like this paper in, um, in this journal. So very good for fountain pen use. Um, it's got a pocket in the back right there, so you can put some little memorabilias and, and stuff in it. Um, this one is a hard cover journal. The rest of the journals that I'm going to show you are, um, are hardcover. So this one is, is Pandas from uh, Peter Popper Press. Very cute. Uh, the next journal I have is a smaller one. I think the Pandas one would be like a 5x7 type. Um, this next one that I'm going to show you guys is called Dogtown Journal. And this one is more of a 3x5, I believe. And again, it's got the elastic rubber band on it. Now, this one, um, now everything that I got here came from Amazon, so I will provide links in the description section uh, where you can get these products on Amazon. And of course, I am an, an Amazon affiliate, so um, I make just a little bit of a kickback. So any money I make just goes right back into the channel with um, new supplies and books and stuff to show you guys. But anyway, this Dogtown one just has a lot of pictures 
pictures of, of different dogs on it. And again, it's Peter Popper Press. Now this one um, wasn't like readily available. I had to get this one through a third party, but it was still covered by Amazon Prime. So it just, it says, said that it was in very good condition. It just showed some minor wear and tear. So it's, it's actually in very, very good shape. So I was really glad about that. We have the end papers and it's got a little pocket there. And of course the the paper. Again, the paper uh, the paper in the bigger ones is a little nicer, whereas the paper in the smaller ones like this is a little thinner, but it's still pretty decent paper. Especially when when you're wanting to write with a uh, fountain pen. So then the next journal I have, and again this is a smaller one. This is Dog Days Journal. This one is Dog Days Journal, again from Peter Popper Press. So again, just a lot of pictures of different doggies. Look at how cute they are. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> and so again, here are our end papers. Same kind of paper. It's got faintly lined pages. So um, the lines aren't too obtrusive, but they're, they are pretty light. And again, we have a pocket in the back of the, of the book with very lovely end papers and the elastic closure, like so. So that one is Dog Days. Very, very cute journal. Okay. This next journal is called, this one is just, it's, it's just called Dog's Journal. So this one is Dog's Journal. Again, dogs. <laughs> uh, this one is a smaller one. More of the three by five, I think. Okay. Yeah, so I think this would be a three by five. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but it's one of the smaller ones. And again, uh, you get, uh, this one is a Peter Popper press one. You don't really get, um, I don't know if this one is an older one or what. Oh, there it is. So we have our end papers. So we have blue end papers. I was going to say, wait a minute, where's our end papers? And it's got the pocket in the back. It, it just kind of stuck together a little bit. Um, some of these have the the gold pages on them. Some of them don't, um, you know, the gilded edging. Um, again, with the smaller journals, you don't get as nice a paper as you do in the, in the slightly bigger ones, but it's still pretty nice. Again, faintly lined pages. So this is very, you know, the smaller ones are really, really good for traveling. Um, you may fill it up a little bit quicker, but it's, it's great for just throwing in your carry-on bag or something. And then um, you got... Um, you know, you got quite a lot of space to be able to write and do whatever you want in it. And last but certainly not least, we have another journal, uh, also dog related. This one is Dog Wisdom Journal, again from Peter Popper Press. So this one just has like little words on the front. It's got slightly raised lettering on it. We have the elastic enclosure, of course. And so I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it just says stuff like... Um, Wag more, uh, wine less, uh, feel the love, um, seek sunshine, um, take naps, seek sunshine, uh, make, make, uh, make more messes, um, give wet kisses, you know, that kind of thing. Oops, I hit my camera. Sorry, guys. You know, that kind of thing. It's just very, very cute. And of course, dog wisdom. And so here are the end papers. Okay, so this one I think would be more of a five by seven journal. And now the slightly bigger ones, as I said, has slightly nicer paper than the smaller ones. So very, very good for fountain pen usage. Again, a decent size for traveling. So if you want something a little bigger than the small one, then this would also be uh, pretty good for just throwing in, um, in your bag. So again, you got a pocket in the back of it and there's our end papers. And I think I showed you guys the back of it. Yep. Okay. So there's the back of it. So that is everything it looks like. So, um, we have a lot of dog related stuff. So let me just go ahead and recap. We have, um, we have all of our journals. Whoops. We have all of our journals, the two with the, with the golden retrievers. Okay. We have the dog wisdom one. Um, we have this one. Now, um, here are the smaller ones. You can kind of tell in relation to how small, um, as compared to the, the slightly larger one. So we have Dogtown, Dogs and Dog Days um, journals. So there's all of our journals. And then for the coloring books, we have the, um, we have, whoop, let me move these out of the way slightly. So just to recap, we have the Rhapsody in the Forest. We've got the two Bennett Klein books. We've got the um, Art Over Madness books, the advanced and the regular one. 
We've got the Edgar Allan Poe book, as well as the Alice's Nightmare in Wonderland and the Beauty of Horror. And, of course, our X-Acto Sharpener, as well as this little kitty coloring thing that my husband found for me the other day. <laughs> so that is my haul from Amazon. We have both coloring goodies as well as journals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely little haul. I really enjoyed showing this to you guys. I love everything I got. And so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, go ahead and hit that like button and leave a comment and tell me what you think. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already, but better yet, while you are at it, hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. You all have an awesome day and we will see you in the next video. All right, bye guys.